Sesh Podcast, episode 137. Take one. Hi, friends, and welcome back to The Sesh. I am Kendall. (laughs) What? I don't know. I don't know why that was really weird. I'm having to me. fun with the gavel. Yeah, what are you doing? Okay, literally. Oh, by, by the way, I'm Janelle. Hi, this is Carly and Sydney over there. What up? Welcome peeps? back. Five seconds before we start recording, she's literally sitting there going, "This. Why are you doing that? Because this is what my baby does now. She goes, anyways. And then she keeps talking. And she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holly will pick up her bottle and go, and then she looks at us, ready for the laugh. Oh yeah, she knows. She thinks it's funny. She's like our entertainment. She like hit herself in the head. She like, oh, she does it with her hand too. Yeah. And it's just, I can't help but laugh. Yeah, it's funny. It is funny. She's doing a lot of funny shit these days. She is, man. Like her, uh, oh, everything. Constant... Is, no, 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 no. And no. It, that's the thing is now that we've made it funny to say no, I mean, we do it all the time. I can't tell her no for anything. Oh, because so she'll like, drop her food down. She's been really into taking her bottles, picking them up, and throwing them on the floor. And then I'll be like, no, no. And she just starts laughing at me. So what do you, you got to come up with a different word. Bad. I don't know. I don't even know. I mean, that nothing works on her. We've tried. We've been like, no, no, no. <laughs> She's like, thinks it's hilarious. No. <laughs> so we're screwed, basically. No, no. <laughs> you just said you want all Leo kids, though. I love my Leo. Well, of I, course she's you just do. so good, man. My kid. But is she, that because she's a Leo amazing. or is that just because she's a, she, you well, got lucky with a really here's good my kid? theory, because your mom told me that you were a really good sleeper and you grew up putting yourself to bed i would well i would be like okay i think it's i think i should probably go to bed now yeah and you'd go off to bed i loved going to bed i was nuts i barely slept as a kid yeah you didn't so sleep at all my kid sleeps a ton she slept four and a half hours yesterday and i was tweeting about it and people were like you know if she sleeps too much during the day she won't sleep at night i'm like no bro she still sleeps 11 hours through the night damn good for her Mm -hmm. and good for you Mm, it's very good so yeah i guess you'll have to get pregnant every November. November. Mm-hmm. Yep. Maybe okay. that's the secret. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just have all fire signs. But all... maybe they'll come in as teenagers and be more fiery but you were a good teenager too you were just good oh uh, yeah but was that because i was a leo or is that just like how i was i don't know you know what i mean i don't know because i've met some leos and i hate them some <laughs> leos are pieces mm. of shit <laughs> some leo men sorry no offense to your leo men out there i'm sure you're great i don't know a lot of leo men i don't know a ton but the ones i have met although oh, we have one at the of office off but head. i like him he's a good who leo tom tom oh he's good yeah he's good but one Leo man, well, probably just because I dated him in high school and I hate his ass. He sucks. That's the one that just came to my mind. Yeah. I knew that's who you were thinking of. Mm, he sucks. Little ween. Little ween. Oh, no. Huge human being. Little <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Big man, little dignity. Exposed. Okay, what a way to start the show out. Um, <sighs> we actually have an action-packed episode for you guys today, yes, we so do. we're going to jump the fuck in. You guys, Colleen. Oh, my God. Is at it again. Spicy. This is wild. Can we just like debrief the apology like slightly? Okay, yeah. Toxic gossip. No, train. don't start saying it. I can't Got stop. One way ticket to. M- okay, I was literally in the shower over the weekend, or I don't know, at some point, Friday or something, and was singing it like trying to be good. And then in my head, I was I like, well, "Why are you doing you. this? Trying to be good." <laughs> I've had moments in the shower where I sing and I'm like, like I'm again. really trying. I'm like, trying I'm like damn, again. the acoustics are yeah. good in here. I was like, fuck, maybe I need to bring a camera in here. Bitch. Yeah, maybe you are. You just never tried, you know? That's right. Um, But yeah, that song, in the middle of the night, last night, just started in my head at like three in the morning. I went to pee and the part that keeps coming to me is the something. The, oh, now it's out of your head. Now, well, yeah, maybe it's leaving. No, no. <laughs> Gossip looks like facts when you don't mind the gaps or something. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I the can't gaps. stop. And I mean, it's, it's because I've watched fuck. so many people reacting to it. I've watched too. it like 10 times. Yeah. Ugh. That one person made someone. Fuck. I don't remember who. What the channel name is. We'll link it below. It's so funny. There's a like oh, 10 yeah. minute clip that someone made of clipping all these people reacting. <laughs> just and it's like, crazy because it's mostly silence, too. Yeah. Everyone's just like. Everyone's reactions are the exact same. We're in it a few times. Everyone's reactions are just like mm-hmm. complete shock. Shook. Yeah. Shook. That was the craziest fucking nuts. One of the craziest things I've ever it seen. It really was. Like, I just never would have expected that of all things from her. 
going, just, wow, getting the, exposed wow. like this, and then the new shit yeah. we're about to talk about. That none of that was on my bingo card for 2023. Same, bro. You know, no idea. Mm. Crazy shit. It really is. And yeah, things have gotten way worse. When you think it couldn't get worse, it has, and I'm sure it will continue to just. <laughs> Just the train is continuing to chug along the track here, <laughs> headed for ultimate crashing. It is bad, you guys. So, an article has come out, or I guess really a blog post. Yeah, self published. Like, mm -hmm. Yep. So, this came out from April, and we're not completely sure in her last name. We've heard other people pronouncing it Kuo. Mm -hmm. So, we hope we're saying that right. Um, could be wrong, and apologies if we are. But anyway, she posted an article or a blog post talking about her experience and it's literally apologize to me.com. Yep. And she has multiple she, different she posts on there like all the time. But oh, obviously okay. this one like went So it's not just the fuck. Okay, I see. So it's not she didn't make the website for this. No. But no, there was like past ones I was gotcha. I saw too. But anyway, she posted an article about her experience working for Colleen as the writer's assistant and showrunner assistant slash writers PA on Haters Back Off, which was a Netflix show. Yeah. When did that come out? Back in 2016. Okay. Yeah. They, she had two seasons. I don't know when the second one came out. I'm there was assuming. two seasons of mm -hmm. that? And then it got canceled. It looks foreshadowing. Shitty. <laughs> yeah. I watched Netflix. I watched, their first. I think I watched at least half of the first season. I can't remember. It was a long mm -hmm. time ago. It was 2016. I don't was remember. Was it much good? It. I don't I Truly don't remember much of it. Uh, it obviously wasn't anything Didn't fantastic. Make an impression on you, right? Yeah. And you know me, like, yeah. when I like a show, I'll watch it 1,500 times in a row. So, yeah. so it wasn't very good. I never, I, I remember not hating it, but I, I yeah, I don't know. I don't mm. remember very well. So the show was a more, like, played out version of the Miranda character that she's been doing all these years? Yes. Yeah, okay. it was a... I mean, it had like a storyline, essentially. Mm -hmm. The whole thing was her trying to, I think it started with her, so I'm trying to remember, it started with her wanting to make it big on YouTube, become a star. It was like the whole plan of like how Miranda Sings can become a star and her mm -hmm. family like trying to help her do it and stuff like that. So that seems like there's a lot more to the Miranda character that she's built behind this character, like a whole storyline. I was always under the impression that it was just shitty covers that are kind of funny. No, I think, well, I think especially with the show, that's when it really became a full, like, storyline with... Oh, like, that's when it came out. I mean, I th I think that she had... I don't, see, I don't know. Yeah, that's how she got famous, like, on YouTube. Yeah. Was through, like, music videos and singing and stuff like that, but... Yeah, I mean, I, w I remember you telling me when we were teenagers about her i mean we were really young i found saying, her before i mean i found her like when she this was this is what i remember like just start i don't know i was on youtube and i came across marina sings and i pretty positive it was before um colleen came out as like colleen and like this is a character yeah. it was just this chick on youtube and i thought it was real and That's i was like, like i remember you telling me that is this and I was getting so confused because she would have like tour tickets. And I'm like, who's actually like there's she's real fans. I'm like, do people yeah. think she's good? I was so confused. I always thought she was kind of just trolling people and just sucking. Yes. But, but at first I thought this person, like Miranda Singh's character was a real person who really thought they were good. So you were was, trolled. Yes. Yeah. For like a good, <laughs> I don't even know when, few months or whatever. Well, you were a kid. Yeah. I don't remember how old I was. Mm. I think she started YouTube in like, I don't even know. 2000 eight or something, yeah, something like that nine i was pretty young yeah you're like beginning of high school or earlier middle like school middle school started, yeah. yeah i think that's that's when i first found her anyways anyway let's get into this so she worked with colleen colleen i always say colleen and upon meeting colleen she says that her first impression of her was that she was boisterous opinionated and had a stunning lack of humility that was unlike anything i had ever seen which by the way this whole article will link below uh yes. we're just gonna read you know, verbatim. Yeah, I think we she says just the best. Put out her words. Yeah. Um, and obviously keep in mind this is alleged. This is coming right. from one person. None of this has been confirmed as fact, of course. But with everything else we know, it's none of this wild. should shock you. You know, uh, I don't know. This was still shocking. I don't know. Everything's shocking to me. I'm I still guess, shocked. Yeah, they as were fuck. still. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> no, I get it. But I mean, I'm not as shocked as I would have been he reading this article a month ago. True. True. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Immediately upon entering the writer's room, I was treated to story after story about her sold out shows, how obsessed her fans are with her and the lengths they would go to get her attention. On the second day, she hauled in a small portion of her collection of art made by her uh, 
Murfandas. He loved Murfandas. Mm-hmm. Murfandas. Yep. Uh, this included several paper mache Miranda heads seen above. She puts them on there. Homemade figurines. I think I've seen those Miranda heads, aren't they? Like in the background of some of her stuff. Yeah, she I've has seen like, them at some point. Well, like her videos are just like all the background is filled with art. I mean, people have made tons and tons of things for her mm-hmm. throughout the years. Interesting. So she also brought in stacks and stacks of fan mail and drawings of something called the daddy saddle. The fuck. Okay, so we learn more about the daddy saddle. She says, I would come to learn that this is an item featured in many Miranda Sings videos. It used to allow Miranda to more easily ride around on her uncle's back. <laughs> I'm sorry, your face is making me laugh. Because what the fuck? <laughs> so this is something I never knew about this uncle character. Okay, yeah. So Miranda has, and I, it, it came out more... Um, in her Netflix show, I believe. Yeah, because she had a character who was an uncle. And I don't think he was in her videos. I don't really remember, though. The actor? Yeah, or like anyone playing the uncle in her YouTube videos. I've seen some clips now. Like, last week I saw some clips from her old videos where she was literally, like, in bed and saying, I'm in bed with my uncle. Ew, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sydney's... Sorry, this is She was, like, funny. recording sorry, at I night know. in the dark. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, and then she was, she had like a, Miranda had a screen name that was like daddy, uncle's little girl or some Ew, shit. Ew, really? Yeah. Like see, a lot has come out about the uncle see, character I, now. It's hard because like I have watched her videos and like I have openly said that I was a fan of Colleen for years. You were also a teenager. I don't yeah. And I don't, understood. I don't really like recall any of that. kind. Of, I just more remember her as like acting dumb mm-hmm. on videos and like making stupid covers of like viral songs. Mm hmm. But I don't really recall the whole like sitting in. <laughs> sorry, sitting on a daddy saddle. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> sorry, I'm like, what the fuck? Anyways. She continues. The uncle character was something that Colleen took great pride in. She had spent years building him into the essential Miranda Sings lore. And once we began to break for stories for the show, it became clear that he was going to be an integral part of it. Miranda and Uncle Jim. That's the uncle's name. Mm-hmm had a, in the character's world, words, special relationship. She often pitched stories in which Miranda and Uncle Jim would be caught in compromising positions or in stomach-churning moments of intimacy, the fuck, that could always be easily explained away by the clueless Miranda. It was my responsibility to write down every single one of these pitches and schedule calls to look at mock-ups of the daddy saddle. That would be featured on the show. The TDS. And Mark points in the scripts where Colleen thought we could make Uncle Jim even more now you're ready to- uh, R-wordy. That is so fucking weird. Yeah. And Netflix was like, sure, dude. See, this is what it. I don't, I genuinely do not remember much of the show. So I can't sit here and be like, yes, that was in there. or No, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. I do not. I really re- didn't leave any impression on you <laughs> at all. <laughs> I literally don't remember any part of it, really. I've seen the um like, her uncle was definitely in the it. show a, and was like and weird. It's not her actual uncle, right? No, 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 no. It's Just, a it's a it's famous actor. actor. I don't know if he's like really famous, but he's oh. like decently well known. I don't know. That is such a creepy role to be put in. Imagine being cast as Miranda's the creepy uncle. Creepy uncle. She continues. As you can imagine, this made me so, so uncomfortable. Here I was, the odd one out in every conceivable way tasked to aid Colleen as she pursued her singular goal of shoving as much ancestral in, ancestral ancestral thank you You're welcome you don't need help with the neck oh, you got it thank you <laughs> into the show as much as possible while I'm gonna need help with that next one assaging I'm April's gonna, way smarter I'm also than me. gonna be needing help with that one <laughs> As- assaging <laughs> Sydney and I were As- trying to figure this out su- earlier yeah. assuaging can someone As- try to figure out how to yeah. say this maybe we get a nice Google As-su-aging. pronounce it's I think it's assuaging Assuaging. 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 It kind of looks like sausaging. It does look like sausage. Oh, sausaging. Swage. Assuaging. 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 All right. Like persuaging. All right, guys. We're doing this sentence from the top, and I'm going to fully nail it, right? Task to aid Colleen. Colleen. Fuck. (laughs) Keep going. Just keep going. Task to aid Colleen as she pursued her singular goal of shoving as much incestial innuendo. (laughs) To the show as possible while assaging the growing behind the scenes concerns that the show would be alienating to the intended audience, which again 
kids. Which I have something to say about this. We can, I'll say it at the end. It all felt deeply wrong. She would show us photos of the packed rows of smiling children who had attended her show the night before and in the same breath spend hours trying to think of a way to show Miranda and Uncle Jim all but having actual sex on screen. I felt insane. This was my job. A coveted... This is her first job. Yeah. In, out of mm-hmm. school, I believe. A coveters, coveted writer's assistant position. And I was terrified to be seen as anything less than enthusiastic to be there. That sucks. But Colleen made... Colleen made accomplishing this a... Herculean. Uh, Herculean feat. You didn't even give me a chance to try. Sorry, April's way smarter than us. She's very smart. You can tell she's a writer, though. Okay, so really quick, though, um, I do have one thing to say about that before we go into the rest of the article. So uh, I looked up what the Haters Back Off show is rated on Netflix. It's rated T- TV PG, which if oh, you look up the uh-huh. rating system, that is in... It basically is like it's for kids under like a little bit of guidance, essentially. Mm. And she doesn't get to rate this. Correct. No, I would... I mean, no. I don't know the rating... I doubt rules. I highly on doubt are rated by the people who make them. No, I don't think anything. Otherwise, right. how could there's no baseline to go off of? Everyone's right. just rating it however they want. So why on earth would Netflix? That's rate what my that question PG? is. Why did Netflix do that? Which then makes me think. Why did Netflix do anything in this whole thing? Yeah, well, I don't know. They haven't talked. They haven't like, even come out. Which it gets way worse, you guys. Okay, just hold on. Are they going to take the show off Netflix? Have we heard I anything about that? Is it still on there? Yeah, it's still on there. Oh, they need to take that shit off. Yeah, it's on there right now. Anyways, um, so another one of April's responsibilities was to sit on the production meetings and take notes. And um, all the meetings were virtual because the writer's room was in L.A. and then the filming of the show was in Vancouver. So she said that um, in those meetings, she had to document Colleen's insistence that they use limited people of color background actors. So oh, it's, it's terrible. My God. Says, quote, it was in those meetings that I had to document Colleen's insistence that we use limited POC background actors as the show took place in Washington and having them just randomly there would be, quote, distracting. That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I don't really know what she's arguing there. Is because, like, is Washington, like, super white or some shit? I don't think so. I've been to Washington. But I mean, even if it is, like, it doesn't make any... Fairly white, I don't but get it. I know. Distracting? In what way? I mean, there are black people. And Asian people and yeah, it's oh, a bunch. people. There's tons yeah. of cultures in Washington. I don't. I don't really understand that point no, at I'm, all. I know. I was a little confused on that either. Be distracting. She said, "I took note as Colleen was shown an Asian food market that would be redressed as a bodega for the show, and watched her disgust as she demanded assurance that all the quote Asian shit would be removed before filming. I sat patiently as the powers that be expressed concern that." The entire main cast for the show was white and silently prayed that since someone with some actual say had spoken up, things might change. And I took note yet again, as Colleen assured me or assured them that they had only casted the best person for each role and that it wasn't her fault that all of those people ended up being white. My God. So then there's this um, screenshot of this text message chain from I'm s- she didn't really address. I don't think she said who it's from. Yeah. It looks like it's a text to her yeah. from someone else who was on the production team that was with Colleen. It seems like it, yeah. The texts say, we're re-watching auditions from earlier this morning, watching the tape of this black actor who is V fine, by the way. Like, very fine. But anyway, the lighting wasn't great, and Colleen just shouted out loud, where is he? Implying he is so dark-skinned, he disappeared. God. One, you can totally see him. It was just overcast this morning. The fuck? Two, black is beautiful, question mark, question mark. And three, get me the fuck out of here. Dude. So, so the, And that's from someone else, not April. So that just, I think, kind of backs up April's claims even more. So is it from someone else? It seems that way to me. I guess we don't know for sure. I wonder Unless if she's her. showing her own text. Right. It yeah. could be. I don't know. It could be. Because the like blue text usually mean you sent it. Like okay, the so then maybe out. this is... But I don't yeah. know. It could have been a screenshot from her, someone else's phone. I, I'm not really I don't sure. think she clarified in the article. But whatever. And it doesn't really matter if she sent it or if she received it. Yeah. What matters is the this fact is that Colleen apparently... This is saying. Right. Yeah. I think under the photo on the article, it explains a little bit. Well, it, it, says, it says, shout she, out to my... Um, patient friends. Many like patient she sent friends. It to her. Like she sent it to her friends in the sense of like, 
Oh, venting about this- Colleen. Okay, I see. that's what I was wondering. Okay, so, we, so maybe we do think it's her. Okay, we're not yeah. quite sure, but okay, that's that, our best that guess. does make sense. Okay, so content of the show aside, it was difficult to work for Colleen. She says she had a knack for making funny, biting comments about people around her, and since we all had to thank her for our jobs had her to thank for our jobs, we were forced to just go with it. She saw no issues in commenting on my hair or clothes or asking about my personal life. Her lack of boundaries was remarkable. Most days, the first hour or so of work was dedicated to Colleen forcing us to perform the emotional labor of counseling her through her marital concerns, which really lines up with what she's been DMing fans over the years. Um, talking about her marriage to them, Mm -hmm. being a listening ear to her complaints about fans, why they were being so, quote, sensitive lately, a.k.a. they had spoken up about their discomfort uh, with her using a black scent. And getting the latest updates on the antics of her fellow YouTubers. I recall overhearing her once brag about a creator that a creator was being canceled for saying the N-word. And if you think she just said N-word instead of hitting that hard R, then you haven't been paying attention. Wow. And that would have and that she would have never been stupid enough to get caught doing something like that. <sighs> and this this goes back to I saw recently a clip of Shane Dawson talking about Colleen like years and years ago yeah. on, a sh- on a podcast. And he said that. You know, I can't remember exactly. She talks what he said. a lot of shit, though. But yeah, she talks a lot of shit, and that she, as soon as as soon as they get together, she wants to talk about everyone in the industry, just kind of lining up. Lots of talking behind people's back here, and then this is her part about how Col- Colleen wanted to name one of the characters after April. She said she once gave me the honor of naming a character after me, a villain at Miranda's school who thought she was better than everyone else because she was a Christian. Colleen made it known on several occasions that she could tell that I was less than thrilled with the show and even once pulled me aside and quipping, you really hate this, right? I could tell that my discomfort with the art that we were creating was notable to her. She would often pitch something vile and then look over to me and ask, any thoughts, April? It was almost like she took a weird pleasure in making me uncomfortable and knowing that even if I wanted to, There was absolutely nothing I could do about it. She was cruel. (laughs) And it was that same cruelty that I recognized in the video she posted on Wednesday, addressing the many allegations that have been piling up against her over the last few weeks. I think there's like, I think there's like maybe another paragraph um, that that she includes as well. But yeah, there's Overall, some more. You can read the full article. Yeah, that's pretty much, I mean, some of the main points. We'll have it linked Yikes. below if you would like to check it out for yourselves. But, you know, we didn't want to read her entire article. But Yikes. Yeah, definitely wanted to amplify her voice here. Insane. Insane. Who the fuck is this person? I'm just, I'm shocked. No, I know. It's it's honestly, it's, it's shocking. I, I'm oh, actually she's speechless. horrible in so many different if ways. this is like, all true... Every, <laughs> If everything that's come out is true. Yeah. Bro. I mean, and a lot of it we can confirm is true because we have receipts, we have videos. Right. Screenshots. Mm -hmm. There's proof of like at least half of it or more. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like. She's been tricking a lot of people for a long time. Yeah, she has. Like Kendall and I were talking about how when we would watch her vlogs, Mm -hmm. I always thought she was you know, very, uh, was like, it It was very important to her to be a good person and to try to do the right thing mm-hmm. and to do right by people and, you know, understand social issues and, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. That was always the impression I got. Again, I mean, we were like fans of her, but we I wasn't like in fan chats with people and in discord and watching <laughs> like reading reddits like i was you don't do f- that with anyone or anything no i was like a fan of the sense of like i'd watch her videos but that was pretty much it i wasn't like yeah. talking to other fans and in like the fandom by any means like that so i really had no idea that people were like having negative experiences oh you know, yeah up until all the shit came out i had a few no weeks idea i found out i first started watching colleen from her vlogs uh when she was pregnant with her son, I can't remember. Anyway, her son. 
and and then I watched her through the twins pregnancy as well. And I've always thought I've always thought um content about pregnancy and people sharing their pregnancies yeah. was really interesting. I mean, I've talked about it before. I've been interested in pregnancy and birth since I was a literal child. So yeah. I've always found that content to be very interesting. Um and I appreciated it especially because it was around the time I was starting to think about having a baby mm-hmm. and getting pregnant myself. Um and I always thought I always really appreciated her for being so open mm-hmm. and um vulnerable and like seemed very cautious about how she spoke about things. Yeah. And it seemed like she was very like not wanting to upset anyone and like wording things exactly the right way. I appreciated um, the fact that like because her first pregnancy was or actually both of her pregnancies was like miserable. She was sick yeah, that's, and in pain constantly that's and kind of how I started following her. A lot of people you find online who are talking about pregnancy like they only want to share the good stuff. So I think I think that's where a lot of people connected with her. I yeah. mean, I connected with her not because I was pregnant or was looking to get pregnant, but just because I found it was interesting. Just interesting. And just hearing about a woman talk about her experience. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It was interesting. So and it's like along the way of watching that, I always really liked how she talked about mental health a lot. And yeah. she um, seemed to like align with me politically a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I just I had always liked her, but I didn't I I never watched Miranda. I didn't know about any of this it was totally shocking to hear i mean I, and i always thought it was for kids too i think that's where i really misunderstood and i think a lot of people see the character and how she acts and thinks this is like this has got to, what adults are watching this. well it's weird because like if you look at her uh sh- like live shows vlogs or whatever and you see the crowd of people it's like over 60 percent has to be kids really totally mm. they're like ki- like kids like 10 8 12 That's why in her apology it pissed me off so much that she she tried to put that back on everyone else to be like well my website says pg-13 and so you're basically saying it's the parents fault for the bringing thing is, my, is like their kids which the majority of your success is due to the fact that kids are a fan of you the majority of the people who are going to your show are not 18 have to have their parents permission and their parents take them and so you're profiting off of kids mm-hmm being a fan of you which is fine but yeah to turn around and be like oh well this show is meant for pg-13 but it but it whatever it's meant for like it's not and you know that yeah you know that your kids are fans i think you would only take your fans are kids youtube gives you so many tools you can go into your analytics and see how old you know the majority of people watching your content is exactly you know like our content is definitely for adults this show is 100 percent for adults but we can't stop it if there are people under 18 that watch this show. There's unfortunately nothing that you you can't like block them from doing that yeah. unless parents have their own controls and stuff. But I think you have a responsibility if you when we log into ours, we know that the vast, vast majority, like 90 whatever percent yeah, I could literally look at is it. people over 18. Yeah. Um, but I know when Colleen logs in there, she's not seeing those same demographics. And then to just be like, well, hands up, not my fault. Like you, these are these are the facts. These are the people that are watching you, and you're continuing to knowingly make this content that mm-hmm. is joking about pedophiles. That's God. I also saw this video last night um, of her back in 2012 making like a what was that song called Gangnam Style? Yeah, that mm-hmm. was a big song. Big. That was super popular. Remember that? Like 2012. Oh yeah, dude. That was what, what, Gangnam Style, right? <laughs> Is that how it goes? Yeah. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Is it Gangnam style? G- yeah, Gangnam that's, style. That's Gangnam, like, style. Gangnam style or Gangnam style? I don't know. That's how I remember Miranda is anytime, you know, a viral song would come or a viral trend, no, not on TikTok, but on Vine or something or the, mm-hmm. just YouTube in general, she would, you know, create the Miranda Sings version of it. Yeah. So, well, I saw it last night. Shit is wildly racist. Yeah, like, it is. I was blown away. I can't believe it's still... I'm. I know it was 2012, but that was bad for 2012. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, how is this kept up on YouTube all these years? It's still up. Yeah. You type it in. Miranda mm-hmm. sings Gangnam Style. Yeah, she's like, I don't even want to repeat it. Yeah, no, I'm definitely not going to repeat it. It's, yeah. it's horrific. It's really so, cringy and yeah, terrible. Yeah, we're learning. I mean, she has shown her true colors. I think this apology has made that abundantly clear. Um, this apology yeah i guess you it shouldn't everyone's calling it an apology it's It's not an apology it's a song it's a song (laughs) her song her ep the gossip train the toxic gossip train 
got a one-way ticket to manipulation station. She's manipulation station, though. She lives there. But hey, at least you're having fun. That's what, you know what? I didn't say this last week, but that pissed me off so much that she accused everyone who, especially the victims, of having fun? What about this is fucking fun for anybody? Yeah. That's just so offensive. You think this is fun for all of your fans who have looked up for you to you for years and now they're finding all this out about you? You right. think this is fun for them? Right, right, right. Like, fuck you. And also the fact that people have been getting, like, Adam literally has been getting death threats. Oh my God, yeah. He's had to make police reports. Yes. Fun. At least you're having fun. Oh, I hated the way she tried to put it all back on us. Backfired big time. No one gives I a fuck. I feel like she knew that that was going to happen. What did she, she think? She had that, to have known. She's been on the internet forever. Was she gonna? Was she really like, mm, I'm gonna set this live and it's gonna go over well. People, are, People are gonna be like, oh, okay, I, I get it. Now you're right. Like everyone's just being crazy. No. She couldn't have thought that, right? There's no way in her mind she thought this was going to go well no. in any fucking sense, but she no. still did it. Because she's a gaslighter. World's biggest gaslighter. That's for sure. But was she, did she, was she just, like, did she do this because she's... Uh, okay, so something that I was just thinking... <laughs> what? Like, was it just dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but like... <laughs> did she think it was going to go well? What was going to go well? The, All the, of this? The song. Oh, the song. <laughs> she just... I'm sorry, but like, there's no fucking way. She, my theory is that she just knows it was, she's over. And she's, she's like, like, there's no it. digging out That's of this. That's what I'm saying. Go out with a bang. That's what I'm saying. Let's make a viral moment. <laughs> what were you saying, Carly? One thing that I was thinking about earlier was, um, so back to her show, right? So that show came out in 2016. Um, and it was, at first it was available on Netflix kid, like kids, channel or whatever like oh, Netflix. What? great at first it was and then i know it was i remember um somebody saying it was taken off a while ago but i, I think that a lot of her fans original fans weren't originally from youtube because like those people grew up right right like the people who were watching her of in course. 2010 2012 whatever mm -hmm. those people grew up and i mean they got trauma out of that because i mean if you think about it a lot of youtubers especially in that day and age of like skit comedy and like offensive yeah. humor like that was the yeah. humor yeah mm -hmm. um a lot of that did translate to haters back off to her Netflix show. But I think that it was a different kind of exposure to the kids, to the newer kids who are watching it on Netflix. So you think so, that she got new fans from the show? Absolutely. 100%. That's interesting. Because I always got the vibe that like, no one's watching this unless you already well, know who I she mean, is. Okay, Someone must think have watched about it, it for it to get a season two at least. Yeah. Well, think her about fans. it. Mm. I don't Anyways. know. Because think about it. Like if you, if you go on to like, um, Netflix kids there's a bunch of weird ass shows like yeah, it's true. just so there's a shows. Netflix I didn't even know that there's a Netflix for kids like, like you, know, when kids. You, yeah, well, you, you know you can have parental you, like, control yes. and, oh you can make it for a like certain a little user. account remember how it's like it'll be like Josh Kendall oh, kid yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. so there's a kids option and like I mean that is moderated by by the parents essentially and I was looking at the um, I was looking at the chart for like how TV is rated and how movies are rated Um. So they have four kids, four teens, four adults. Yeah, the TV PG stuff. is in the for, for it's, kids, and it's that's in the yeah PG no PG, uh, yeah it's just PG. Which which haters TV. back off was rated PG. So yeah, the show with the daddy saddle was available for P for the Netflix kids. PG stuff is available for kids. Yeah, on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Because so it, anything that's what I'm saying. The PG the, tag yes can be available for yes. Kids. The kids section is so PG. kids saw the daddy saddle. Well, I, well mean, the, I don't think the daddy seat. That's what I don't remember. I don't know if the daddy saddle. Like, well, I I'm going to look were, up. Someone look I up the daddy saddle. I don't know if there was a real clip of Miranda Sings on the daddy saddle. If it made it to air. On her uncle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> my God. I can't believe this is real. See, I don't, I don't know if it was a part of Netflix or if this was, you know, something that she was trying to pitch and April's like recalling it. Oh, that's. You see what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Type in haters back off daddy saddle. I don't think it was. Because how can that... That can't go, go on to images. PG. But regardless, it's still weird to me that Netflix decided to rate it PG. When... Ew, is that a picture of the daddy saddle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, 
but she had this on YouTube. What I'm saying is, can, did it make it into the Netflix right, show? That's what I'm asking. She brought I don't it think up it to did. April, but we don't think it actually. So I if don't know. I could be wrong. The tell show, me. Tell us. Because I don't fucking remember. Is the daddy saddle? I also in didn't the show. watch season two. But anyways, whatever. The fact that Netflix decided to rate it PG, I don't think that's her fault. Like, that's one thing. It's not her fault. No, it's definitely because it's, it's Netflix's Netflix. fault. Like, who the fuck decided to do that? It's stupid. It's either Netflix or a third party. Um who sets the um the yeah. rating so i mean either way but my point was like it new kids it had new an, a new audience because it was available on netflix Flix. and like so you think that younger generation yes yeah. i mean very i'm sure some people yeah i don't know so maybe she got more of a younger audience came to youtube from that maybe well i don't I, see for me is i don't think i don't think the netflix fans would translate to youtube you know what i mean i don't think they would yeah. go back and watch her Netflix. Or mm. sorry, I'm so sorry. Watch her YouTube. Watch yeah. her YouTube. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like all of that stuff, mm. quote unquote, could get lost. Like mm. in the in the whole, like, because people aren't like, I mean, parents aren't going to go back and like look up this person who had a YouTube, you know, if they even know that. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right. so does that make sense? Crowley, you were, you know, young on YouTube. Yeah. You watched a lot of YouTube growing up. Did you ever like see Miranda or anything? Or did you know of so, her? So, oh yeah, I knew of her. And she was honestly one YouTube creator that I just never really liked. Like her her content was never really funny to me. Mm -hmm. I never I never got into Colleen's um, uh, vlogs or anything either. Like that was just a side mm -hmm. that I was never on. Mm -hmm. I was definitely more on like the Shane Dawson, Smosh, like mm -hmm. that side of YouTube, which was also very heavy in the skits you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. and like the that was returning the thing to do and, and like, how old yeah. were you when you were uh, watching i was in middle school like what age did you first get on youtube um i was probably like 12 okay. 12 or 11 12 that's pretty normal that's yeah. when i hopped on youtube right. really i think oh, so I didn't. When, I was, when i was that age youtube was still like funny videos so, yes i was going to like stupidvideos.com well, yeah. stupid videos <laughs> yeah no like your mom's world yeah no for me it was definitely like skit videos and like youth like more mm. established youtube channels like um i'm thinking of like um can't i literally can't think of anybody right now like tyler oakley and okay, yeah, yeah, joey yeah. graceffa and like mm. that kind when of was... that was like 2013 that was 2013 to 20 I stopped watching it. Probably How like, old were you in 2013? Um, 13. No. Damn. Hold on. No, 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 no. You are such a baby. 15, I think, maybe. Wow. Ten years Tyler ago. I was in started his channel in 2007. My yeah. sister was really into this. She really? got onto Miranda. Because I remember seeing her watch her like, mm. on YouTube. And then I think, Carly, you're right, that when it went to Netflix, it was a whole. it was almost like they weren't connected. Like yeah. the YouTube and the Netflix, the whole Netflix was like a whole. It was a whole separate universe. Yeah, like I no see, one, no I one would go. I don't think it was common for people to go watch the Netflix and then go watch her on YouTube. I think they were separate. Mm. So I'm, and that's just what I'm going off of. But so after reading that um, blog or you know yeah. about the lady that worked for her, I'm curious if that was if she worked for her. She did the Netflix stuff. Yes. Yeah. She. What do you mean? Because they didn't post, like, it wasn't like YouTube posted a video, then Netflix would post a new episode. It was like, no, they, they dropped it all at once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like a, they dropped the whole series. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Did, but I'm sure there was some type of deal where she had to right. mention it X amount of times in her videos to then get some she people. She plugged over. it like every fucking really? second she got. Oh, you I mean, who that? wouldn't? It, yeah, of course. Real. Well, yeah. and you have to. Like, yeah. most was of she the, that's plugging part it? Part of the deal. That's why they work with YouTubers. It's like free publicity for your show. Was she plugging it as Miranda or as Colleen? Both. Both? Both, yeah. Oh, yep. Oh, and then Eric was in the show, huh? Her That's husband right now. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh. There's a bunch of tea around that, too. Drama. Around Eric? Just about that they met on the show oh. and her ex. Which I'm like, that Alleg yeah, that's, is that like, gets into like gossip land. Yeah, that's, I was gonna that's say, toxic talks. Like you can cheat toxic on people. Gossip, I think that's like shitty to do, but whatever. Like that's I guess not, there's no proof. Yeah. And also like that's not really the point here. The point is that she's allegedly yeah. fucking racist and has been grooming people. So Netflix needs to get this shit off their platform yeah. and make I a think statement there's, um, that since they produce this. There's a... Uh, what's the word? Petitions. Thank you. To try and get it off. So. But I don't know. You know what though? They might... Whoever, like, um, like, they might have some type of contract where they can't just, like, take it off. Mm. It might have to, like, run for a specific amount of years. Uh, well, I'm sure there's something in their 
contract that's like Netflix can pull out at any given time for mm -hmm. like if someone does something true. really bad, they have things to protect them in there if they have to get it off their platform. That's true. Oh. Um, so Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 50 percent. That's kind of really? high, honestly. That's kind of yeah. generous for them. <laughs> and 74% audience score. But here's what I'm interested in. Parent reviews on Haters Back Off. Mean but sort of funny, says one parent. Parent of an 11-year-old. The girl is just messed up. She is, people are mean to her, and she is very callous. Not for me. Someone says, oh my God, no, no, no. One star. This is bad. One star. This is the most child-friendly show ever. Shh, Think wait. Kalu, but worse. Caillou. <laughs> what? Or like a two plus <gasps> one star. I don't know. That really didn't make sense. Okay. <clears throat> Someone. Okay. Here's one. Not for children. Very inappropriate. Two stars. This show is very inappropriate. My child is nine and likes Miranda. I had to rewind a few times to make sure I'm not hearing things. Shaking my head. I don't know what it is with this actress that used children to become famous. And this was three years ago. That I was going to say, this. when was this? Um, and puts things in her show that a child should not hear, even if they don't understand. I'm very shocked. Her and Netflix need to be fined, as this is not for children. She says porn, prostitute, condom, and the uncle says some nasty things, too. Like, why Netflix? Next one says, three stars. What was Netflix thinking? This should seriously not be PG. I think if they added a season three, it would be enough to make it uh, mature. Miranda, the main character, is way too full of herself. Her mom is blah, 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 blah. This goes on and on and on. But yeah. Oh, someone said good show, but you need to view it yourself before you show it to children. See, it's too much romance for a young child. And there's very strange relationships like the mom and uncle liking each other at the end for, of the season. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> I don't remember that. What? Maybe Ooh. that was season two. Oh, OK. Well, anyway, let us know your thoughts, guys. We want to hear him. Let's What's move on. I need to out. cleanse nice. from Colleen. Too much Colleen for today. I thought you were going to say a colon. colon cleanse. <laughs> 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 colon cleanse. <laughs> a colon yeah. cleanse. That would be a Aww. great meme. Ugh. Parents out there, I know you know how hard it is to get sleep. And it's the little things, the little hacks that make the biggest difference. And for me, it is making sure your child is wearing the best possible diaper during the night. And that's why I use Coterie. Coterie has become my sleep hack. It's the diaper. It's designed to make parents' lives easier so everyone can get more sleep. Coterie diapers are designed to minimize leaks, blowouts, and diaper rash so that you and your baby can enjoy more comfortable, dry, and most importantly, interrupted sleep. They have up to 70% more liquid capacity and absorb four times faster by moving liquids away from the skin within 15 seconds, keeping your baby drier than the leading diaper brands. And that's one thing I really noticed about Coterie. When I take off her diaper, I can feel the difference. It is so much less wet. And I've tried every diaper brand out there. These are by far the softest diapers on the market. Coterie products are fragrance-free, hypoallergenic, and made with responsibly sourced plant-based materials, all while feeling as soft as cashmere on your baby's bottom. They have also been awarded Best Diaper by Parents.com and Babylist. It's time you use a better diaper. And right now, Coterie is partnering with our podcast to offer you 20% off your first order, plus free shipping at Coterie.com, promo code SESH. That's Coterie.com, spelled C-O-T-E-R-I-E.com, promo code SESH for 20% off your first order and free shipping. That's Coterie.com, promo code SESH. So I've been traveling a bunch in the last few weeks, and I have really had it with packing and unpacking my bag. I am the worst when it comes to packing because I pack way too damn much. But one thing that has made my packing experience better is using my base bag. We've all been there trying to think of everything we might need for a trip, only to end up with a suitcase that's bursting at the seams. But with base, there is room for everything. 15 pairs of underwear for a weekend trip? No problem. Deciding between a few pairs of shoes? Bring them all with base. Base was created by actress Shay Mitchell, who I absolutely love, and she made sleek and affordable bags, luggage, and accessories designed to help you travel effortlessly while still looking fashionable. Base has thought of everything you could ever want in a piece of luggage. 360 degree wheels, a cushioned handle, built-in weight indicator. This thing is life-changing. Washable bags for your dirty clothes and all the interior pockets that you'll need to keep you organized. Their luggage comes in multiple sizes and colors and for shorter trips, their weekender bag is super functional and even has a place to store your shoes separately, which is so handy, you guys. 
I absolutely love the Weekender bag and every piece is made to look better with miles. So you don't have to worry about it in cargo or overhead. And Base has over 30,000 five-star reviews. So whether you're packing for a quick trip or looking to breeze through the security line, Base has your personal items covered. And right now, Base is offering our listeners 15% off your first purchase by visiting basetravel.com slash sesh. And that's Base spelled B-E-I-S. Go to basetravel.com slash sesh for 15% of your purchase. That's again, B-E-I-S travel.com slash sesh. That's it for spicy topics today, guys. Now we're going to move into some CSI. Bum, bum. All right. So our first story here is very, very hot. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have heard of Yellowstone National Park. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gorgeous place. Have you been to Yellowstone? Nope. It is I had to think so about that for a second. Pretty. I would have been a child. Really? A stupid child who did not appreciate the beauty. You big I remember idiot. I saw um, there's this big geyser called Old Faithful. And we when my parents were really hyping it up, like, this is crazy. You got to see it. I was like, this is it. You didn't give a damn? I was such a brat. It and was, it smells yeah. really bad. Oh, yeah. It smells I was the like same. the whole place smells like sulfur. Yes. I saw a buffalo there. It's pretty cool. You know what's... Like, I would love to go as an adult, though, that can actually appreciate shit. I what? kind of have a love-hate relationship with the smell of sulfur. Yeah. I kind of do, too. Like, it's Janelle. gross, but I'm also kind of like... Mm -hmm. Taking it off a little bit. It's like more. It's like gasoline. No, like, no, that's just appeal. straight good. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. I that's like gas gas all gas all <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Sulfur's like eggs. Yeah, but it it's kind of like gross. It's like the, it's like the same idea of like I can't. It's bad, but I can't look away. Type like of thing. Toe cheese. Ew. <laughs> like toe cheese. Sydney. Like yes. smelling your own farts. <laughs> Ew. Sick. Oh, <laughs> do you like that, Joe? Oh. All right, Sometimes, back on the rails and we're like going to get disgusting yourself? here. Okay, anyways. Okay. <laughs> no. Anyway, this woman's very proud of herself. So this viral video shows a man and woman who clearly trespassed and then walked down to the world famous hot spring and then shows this woman straight fucking rolling up her sleeves <laughs> and crouching down on the ground at the edge of the spring and then dips her goddamn hand and the tip of her shoe into the hundred and 74 degree scalding hot water. Do you water. know how hot yeah. 174 degrees is? It's very hot. It's hot <laughs> as fuck. It's hot as fuck. Okay. Okay. This is not just like a steamy bath. This is no. boiling like beyond. So what's boiling? No, boiling is like, isn't it like 300? 220? I, I am. I'm a fucking gonna, scientist. No, no. Let me over here. Close to boiling. Scientist Sally? Uh, two, 212 is boiling. I was going to say, yeah. Pretty, pretty close. Four degrees off. Well, I mean, let's see. What, what's a hot tub? Hot tubs are like 104 max, usually. Like, I would say between 100 and 104. Yeah. So what was her thinking here? She just thought, I need to see if it's really hot. Are they lying to us? <laughs> it's a conspiracy. It's actually cold. Must find out. No, I think it's like one of those things that's like, I, I mean, know, forbidden. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. It's the forbidden fruit. Right. You it's know what I mean? the apple. And she's eat. She's got to take a bite. Like forbidden tea. Like, you know how mm. people like joke just like about the, the dumbest thing. Like the lava forbidden bath? Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, we have a clip of it. Yeah. We're going to show you. Can't but wait. I haven't this seen woman, it yet. you can't really hear it super well. So let me just let you know what she says. Her reaction to the fucking hot water is jumping up, running backwards towards the wooden path and screaming, it's hot. <laughs> Very hot. I haven't seen this yet. I'm excited to take a look. <laughs> you won't be able to it's, hear it, but it's, that's all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's, right. let's, let's let Janelle see this. It's wild. See, it kind of looks fun, though. <laughs> 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 it's, it's like it's, she let water. her intrusive thoughts win is what i'm saying she's like <laughs> must touch she's like, she's like debating about mm. it and the people are watching her i love <laughs> the people are just watching this dumbass They're like all right fuck it she's like all right watch this jim i think I'm one guy in. yells at her but the guy was like shut up ah mm, looks gorgeous though i know the water's really blue it's so pretty Look at this lady over here. She's like, let me She's get like, a good pic of yeah, this. This uh -huh. is going to go viral. Uh -huh. Ah! Ah, it's hot. It's, it's hot. She runs. <laughs> She's like, holy shit, that's really hot. That's really, really God. hot. Oh, man, that is stupid. Okay. That is so stupid. Mm -hmm. Very stupid. <laughs> Big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. terrible. Okay, she so, goes, wait, so then 
that he, she trespasses, right? Because mm-hmm. yeah. she's on that boardwalk. That's why this is a CSI. This is illegal. Mm-hmm. You, can't you can't get do off this. the boardwalk. For your own good. She broke the law. So this she- was posted to Instagram, and the person who posted it shared a brief conversation that he had with the man in the video just before the incident. She, he says, I told him that it was a bad idea and they should get off the boardwalk. Shouldn't get off the boardwalk. The man trespass passing quoted saying, whatever, man, whatever, bro. All good things start with whatever, man. Totally. All visitors to Yellowstone National Park are strictly be- prohibited from touching, swimming or soaking in the hot springs. Yellowstone National Park Service safety page clearly states that the water in hot springs can cause severe or fatal burns and scalding uh, water underlies most of the thin, unbreakable crust around breakable. the hot springs. Unbreakable. Thank you. No, what did breakable. I say? You said unbreakable oh. twice. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> the breakable crust. <laughs> Just mm, like crust. Yeah, man. What See, can I say? like it sounds like a forbidden food crust. You got to touch the crust. <laughs> crust. The hot crust. It's like lava. That mm. shit looks like forbidden marshmallows. Mm. Like it looks good. You should touch yeah. lava. More than 20 people have died. Yeah, that's crazy. From burns after they entered or fell into the hot springs. Dude, fuck no. Talk about a horrible death. No. Why would you even dip your toes into that shit? My God. It was reported that last summer, a human foot in a shoe was found floating in Yellowstone's Abyss Pond, which is 53 feet deep and reaches 140 degrees. No. In 2016, a visitor may have died and then completely dissolved after soaking in another scalding Yellowstone <gasps> hot spring. Ew! And she said, I want to see it myself. <laughs> I want to touch it. Wild man. <laughs> what People. a wild, wild lady. Not smart. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not smart. Definitely not smart. Not the, not the greatest idea, but honestly, glad she wasn't hurt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, she could have lost, like, Good what if she her. slipped in on accident? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She'd have boiled. Yep. Can you imagine? Very dumb. Yep. Can we do the, can you do a little knock on my I'm, head? I can see why you're doing this now. It sounds really fun. It sounds fun in the headphones. Please give me one. Yes. Thank <laughs> Dude, you. What's wrong with this episode? I don't know. <laughs> this whole podcast. What's Anyways. wrong with us? Yeah, that's not great at all. Damn, I'm out of coffee. <sighs> it's 406. No more coffee. Okay. okay you know what who else, else is dumb? <laughs> Ohio man puts cop in chokehold after a fight breaks out between angry passengers and Spirit Airlines. And of course, it's Spirit Airlines staff at the Orlando airport. Dude, poor Spirit Airlines. They just like suck. Always doing some drama. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So on June 27th, Edward Harrison, who's a 41 year old dude from Ohio, was arrested at Orlando International Airport um, for allegedly putting a police officer in a chokehold. Brilliant why, idea. Why would you do that? Brilliant idea. According to the arrest affidavit of Edward, was at the Spirit ticket counter when officers were notified that there was a large group of people yelling and threatening the Spirit Airlines staff. This was supposedly due to hours of flight delays and cancellations. Yes, because the staff can help that. Right. Uh. <laughs> They're like, yes, we canceled the flight because we're bored. We mm-hmm. want to cause problems. Mayhem. Yep. Police said Edward was leaning over the ticket counter, arguing with employees while a woman he was with was behind the counter, standing on top of the baggage scales, also yelling. God. An officer said that Edward then reached behind the ticket counter, grabbed the keyboard and started hitting buttons. <laughs> He's like, let me try. <laughs> <laughs> That's when all hell broke loose. One of the officers grabbed Edward's arm and they started to violently shove one another and ended up on the ground. Edward gained the advantage and placed the officer in a chokehold to the point where the officer began to get dizzy. The officer said, quote, I began to get dizzy and immediately spotted or, and immediately spotty as my airflow was restricted and I was beginning to lose consciousness. The officer was able to break free within well, when three officers came to help. So this video is pretty wild of it. Yeah, let's watch it. Also a Fox 35 exclusive, a ticket counter takedown. This happened at the Spirit ticket Airlines counter counter takedown. in Orlando International Airport. The man right here at the bottom of that police Watch this. Pile, they put him well, in a figure for leg lock. Dude. I've never so seen that before. Fox 35's Valerie Boyd joined us live at the airport tonight. So Val, the officer says he started losing consciousness during that assault. Yikes, dude. What a fucking idiot. Why would you do Seriously. that? Seriously. God damn. Oh, man. Anyways, um, yeah, so obviously he got arresty because he can't do that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. He uh, had his bond set for $50,000 and is facing four charges. Attempted first degree murder of a law enforcement officer. Oh, dude, he's so he, fucked. That's bad. 
battery on law enforcement officer and resisting an officer with violence and disorderly conduct. All that because you didn't want to miss a flight. He's like, give me the fucking keyboard, bitch. God, people just completely lose their minds. They can't handle themselves. No, I'm telling you. They don't think at all. It's they wild get, to me. I think some people get so angry, they just like black out and they just go out do it. whatever. Can't imagine fighting someone in the TIA. <laughs> right? Oh my God. Uh, just uh, why would you start shit at the airport? I am so scared of the airport and I don't do anything wrong. Dude. I still get scared going through security because I feel like maybe there's something in my bag. Me too. I just don't know. Like I'm like, did I put a gun in here? I've never owned a gun yeah, or I'm held like, one in my life. But... Maybe I accidentally put my razor in there. Or like, <laughs> you know, who knows what I have that could be pokey. Like I just, I'm always scared. And then I always, the last couple of times I've been at DIA, I always get the random thing. Yeah, you do. Where, like the thing goes off and they're like, sorry, you've been randomly selected to like, and they like, have been wiping my shoes down to yeah. test for stuff and i'm still nervous i'm like what's on my shoes i don't know it freaks me <laughs> the fuck out i get so anxious in security i always feel like i'm doing something i wrong. hate tsa it's a stressful situation do you ever when you're just at self-checkout get paranoid that they think you're stealing uh or is that am i just a fuck i don't know now? sometimes i guess so not really though i get so paranoid at the self-checkout like I, i'm like i'm don't even want them to i don't know you're I just like get, did you hear that? Yeah. I'm not stealing. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> That's how I act. I get so paranoid. I, I always feel like the person is just staring at me and they're like, they think I'm stealing. I don't know. I just get scared. I don't Shit. like attention on me at all. Even going through the drive thru, I get anxious. What? Yeah. Yeah. Same. Me and Sydney were just going through the drive thru and I got very, she was demanding my order very quickly. Yeah. I was getting frazzled. <laughs> yeah. I was getting frazzled. Ooh. Like after I do, I always like, no, I'm grateful. Relief. I made it through another day. I don't have any like anxiousness around like making phone calls or like ordering a pizza. Like some people yeah, legit are like that. petrified oh, with that shit. Me, I, me, me, yeah, me. I've had to get better since I've had a, a kid. I'm like, I can't. You not, like, I used to make Josh just do like everything. <laughs> so I was afraid of doing everything. <laughs> That's I didn't not even a drive for a long time. Oh, I know. So I was just scared. I know because I was so afraid of being pulled over after my high school trauma, my stop sign trauma. Mm -hmm. Had to get over that though. Got to drive my kid. Do you drive your kid? Uh-huh. But I'm scared. Oh, when it's just me and Holly in the car, gripping the wheel. I'm yeah. so freaked out. I could see that. I get my hands poor sweat. Really? Dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, see that? Yeah, I could understand that. Really anyone else in my car. I'm most calm driving by myself. By myself, yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel like the on literally the only way to get better at it is by doing it more. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's right. I don't know. Face your fucking fears. Face your fucking fears, people. Guys, you've heard Kendall and I talk about HelloFresh so many times on this show, and that is because we both love this service. It is genuinely one of the best services that I have ever used. I will continue using them forever. I just cannot recommend them enough. With HelloFresh, you get pre-portioned ingredients that help cut down on food waste while step-by-step -step instructions make cooking a breeze, not a chore. It's peak time for summer produce and HelloFresh makes sure that you get all of the best picks all season long. Their ingredients travel from the farm to your door in less than seven days for quality you can taste. One of my favorite things about HelloFresh is the fact that they understand that you want options when it comes to what to make for dinner, not just having the same old thing over and over again. And that's why they offer 40 recipes to choose from every single week so you'll never get bored and can always find something new to try. Usually after a long day of work, the last thing I wanna do is Go home and try to figure out what to eat for dinner. I do not like going grocery shopping. It is a pain to find all the different ingredients. And a lot of the times the ingredients that a recipe calls for, you don't even end up using it all. So you totally waste your food and you waste money. You waste your time. It's just extremely annoying. But with HelloFresh, you don't have to worry about that. I love knowing that I have a HelloFresh meal in my fridge that I can just quickly whip up and eat for dinner. I don't have to think about it. It doesn't take up a lot of time. And I love the fact that they introduce me to different ingredients and pairing different flavors together. It overall makes me a better cook. So go to hellofresh.com slash sesh50 and use code sesh50 for 50% 50 off plus free shipping. That's hellofresh.com slash sesh50 and use code sesh50 for 50% 50 off plus free shipping. I'm telling you guys, HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. You've got to try them out if you haven't already. What else we got going here, baby? Another CSI. This woman. Oh, God. Yeah. This is crazy. <sighs> this is another like. I'm sure I have heard more about Influencers this. taking it overboard. Going wild. Influencers in the wild. Okay. But to the nth degree. Yeah. 
This woman, her name is Katie Sorensen. She's an Instagram influencer. She could have made it to my channel, honestly. Really? I didn't cover her. Really? Maybe. I don't know. She's right there. She's give, She reminds me of that girl. I just covered Chloe, whatever her name is, that faked her kidnapping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, um, she is she lives in Northern California. And she basically actually, I'm not even going to tell you guys. Um, I'll wait. I don't want to spoil it. I'll just tell you what happened. I guess I so, just kind of spoiled it. Sorry. Well, it's fine. But OK, in December of 2020, Katie and her two kids were at a Michael's in California. And she reported to police that she witnessed suspicious activity from a couple that was also in the store. She said that the couple followed her inside the store and followed her around while she was shopping with her two kids in the stroller. Mm -hmm. And then so she told police that the couple made comments about the appearance of her children and that they followed her to her car and lingered near her while she placed her kids into the car. Now, Supposedly, she didn't want anyone to be arrested, but wanted to draw attention to the, quote, concerning behavior that she allegedly saw from this couple. So several days after Katie gave her report to police, she posted a video to her Instagram where she went into great detail about the alleged abduction and shared details that had not been shared with police in her original report. So the video goes viral. This is a few years ago, obviously. And it was viewed more than four million times. And this led Katie to give an interview with the local news station where she told her story and identified the couple. So police started to become really sus about her claim, considering she left out a lot of info in the original report that they received from her. So she talks, she like calls the police, makes a report and then goes on social media and like adds all this other info. And they're like, wait, yeah, the foot hold up. Why don't you tell us? Okay, so let's watch the um, a clip from the original video. The actual original has been deleted, but there's a clip on Twitter we can watch. Okay, so we're going to have to just overlay this video because I think we have hit our limit possibly on no, Twitter. No, Twitter's just like glitching for some reason on our, on this computer specifically. Wait, Ugh, Elon. What limit are you talking about? You didn't hear about the limit? No. New thing. Tell me about this. Yeah. Elon has put limits on how many tweets you can view a day. Mm -hmm. What? Yep. yep. Unverified users get to do like 6,000 or something and then... Uh, uh, 600. Verified yeah. get 6,000. Unverified gets Unverified gets 600. Get which That's is like, how do you even joke. determine what someone's viewing? Like, if you're scrolling, or do those all count? I have no idea. I haven't, it hasn't happened to me yet. Me either. I'm not on Twitter enough for that to happen. I thought I was on Twitter a decent amount, but apparently not. Whatever. Anyway, we're going to watch it and overlay it for you guys. Yeah. Monday of this week, my children were the targets of attempted kidnap, um, which is such a weird thing to even vocalize. Um, but it happened. Um, and I want to share that story with you in an effort to raise awareness as to what signs to look for um, and to just encourage parents to be more aware of their surroundings and what is going on around them. Um, I think right now we are so distracted by um, everything that's going on in the world that we are kind of um, have our guards up so much about um, masks and wanting to keep our children safe that way that we're forgetting <laughs> the most important way to keep them safe and that is with us um, and to not have them taken. So I'm going to share a story um, in an effort to raise that awareness but it's I'm not ready. I This is hard for me. I'm not ready to share this story but I, I know it's important and I would rather be uncomfortable um, and awkward and get the message out sooner than wait until I feel composed because um, I don't know if I'll ever be composed talking about this. Um, so here we go. On Monday, like I said, my children were the um, targets of attempted kidnap. We went to Michael's Craft Store just to run a few errands, um, get some things to make some homemade gifts. Very quick trip. I have not taken my children out a lot as of late. Um, but this was just a, con a situation where we just needed to run this errand. And I thought I came prepared. I brought the double stroller, um, thinking I'd just throw them in, cover them up, put the uh, cover on top, and just walk through the store quickly, grab our stuff, and go. I only had two items I needed to grab. Um, and then I did a Target pickup. So that was the only time we were getting out of the car. Um, so we get to Michael's. I park as far away as possible. Um, in an effort to not inconvenience others with our big stroller. That's what I, that was always my go-to. Whenever I brought the double stroller, I'd park far away so that people wouldn't um, be frustrated with me taking forever getting the stroller in and out. Um, that is the first thing that from this day forward, I will be doing differently um, if I ever choose to bring my kids out again. 
If Dumb. I ever choose to bring my kids out again, ever again. Um, mm-hmm. I hate several things about this, but okay. two things really stand out to me just of what I'm seeing here is her being like, I'm doing this to raise awareness. Yeah. You're doing this for attention. Shut your fucking mouth. Well, no one knows that yet. Oh, right. Okay. Once you know the rest of it, she's doing it for attention 1000%. And so, then also to bring up the masks. Oh, I know. Like, okay. Yeah. That's so all say police about that. go and get the uh, security footage from the store because they're trying to identify this actual couple. And the couple, who are parents themselves, were seen at the checkout counter buying Christmas decor, and they did not follow Katie outside the store as she claimed they did. It's made it all up. Literally Just made the whole buy thing some up. Christmas shit. They're like, what? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> like, bitch, I'm trying to buy a fucking Santa Claus figurine. It'd be so mad. And your ass is accusing me of trying to kidnap you <laughs> and your never children. Never bring your children out again. Never again. <laughs> Four million views, though. But I'm trying to get raise awareness. That's just annoying because it's like, <laughs> stop. <sighs> there are so many people who actually have creepy things yes, happen to them that are sharing their stories to raise awareness. Yeah. You just want attention, exactly. So she was charged in uh, April of 2021. Entered a not pleady pleady. Oh, that's a new one. <laughs> pleady pleady. Not entered not guilty plea agreement two months later. And after tons of delays, her trial finally began back in April. And oh, the delays, I'm guessing. Everything was delayed everything was court-wide. Delayed. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and was charged with three misdemeanor counts of making a false report of a crime. And the accused couple, Sadie and Eddie Martinez, spent three years pushing forward on the case that the defense repeatedly tried to drop, divert, and delay. And um, finally, you know, she was charged. And she was sentenced on June 29th for 90 days. 60 of which she could be on work release. That's bullshit. That's such bullshit. Are you kidding me? Filing 90 days of police it. report. Yeah. Accusing these people of. Uh, this is insane. God, I hate people. 90 days. Well, mm-hmm. 30 days, really. Cause yeah. True. Yeah. Work, work release. release. Mm. Oh, boy. So, yeah. Great. It's excellent. Good job, Katie. All right. So, in our next story here, are people okay? <laughs> we don't know. We don't know why this is happening. It's so not a new much. thing to be throwing shit on stage at a concert right like people do throw t-shirts or water bottles like you're not supposed to do it but people have been doing that since the dawn of time right of course but like why is it happening so much in the last few weeks a lot a lot and very strange items so let's start out with kelsey ballerini who i love um her performance on june 28th in boise idaho she stopped mid-song when a bracelet hit her directly in the eye so there's a video of this this incident let's take a look so annoying. we've really hit Why the is, limit no i think elon's just sucks at wait let me see controlling his dumb app do you think it's just because you have to be logged in oh god why is ben still hurt? oh no wait see. why Ben, what did you do let's what? just hope he just got married or he did something bad he better not be dead okay so we can't play the sound so we're just going to talk over this um and we'll put it the video up on screen um yeah, we get copyrighted. Be copyrighted. Okay, so she's just strumming along. Dun, 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 then something hits her in the eye. Ah. Can you imagine? You're just trying to perform. Smacked in the eye. She's probably freaking out, especially after seeing what just happened to BB Rexa. Yeah. Which we'll get a, get to in See, a sec. See, like, why is this happening? So she posted to Instagram and said, Hi, I'm fine. Someone threw a bracelet, hit me in the eye. And it more so scared me than hurt me. We all have triggers and layers of fears way deeper than what is shown. And that's why I walked off stage to calm down and make sure myself, band and crew and the crowd all felt safe to continue. That's why that's all I ever want is for shows to feel like a safe place for all of us. I love you and appreciate all the concern. Let's make this the last let's make the last two shows of this of the heart first tour the best yet. So. Yeah, I can. Re- I think everyone can relate to that. Concerts mm-hmm. can be very just getting like, anxiety ridden, mm-hmm. especially in the United States, um, oh, for sure. But really, anywhere, obviously, mm-hmm. you always kind of have that. At least I do in the back of my head. Well, like, you just be so taken aback. You know, you're in the middle, of, you're jamming out. Yeah, but then as a crowd just, too, oh. like seeing someone on stage freak out, then yeah. I would start freaking out in the crowd because yeah. I'm like, oh fuck, what's going on? Yeah. 
So yeah, this happened to BB Rexa. I'm sure a lot of you guys um, heard about this already. Oh, but she was performing performing in Manhattan on June 18th and had to get stitches. This was really bad. Yeah. After someone threw a fucking cell phone and hit her in the face. Who? Why would you throw your phone? What do you do? You think they wanted like a what picture? are they gonna like? Yeah, take a selfie for you and then give it back. So weird. I think Ugh. that's the idea. The 27 year old grown ass man who threw his phone. Looks painful too. They like cut her eyebrow. His quote I was trying to see if I could hit her with the phone at the end of the show because it would be funny. It's because a, it would be funny. And it's a TikTok trend. <laughs> it's a TikTok trend. Sorry, I'm trend. not laughing at that. I'm just like, you're so dumb. <laughs> it's a trend to throw your phone I at people. I don't fucking know, apparently. It's according to my this god dude. yeah she got really fucked up from this so then two days later ava max was assaulted by a man who crashed the stage at an la show and slapped her in the face she shared online that he slapped her so hard that he scratched the inside of oh. her eye oh it sounds so painful i think we can no. pull this clip up since it's not on twitter yeah this sounds so painful though yeah elon's shutting her asses down today queen oh, oh my god dude. yeah you can see how he would hit how stupid can you be? Ow. Ow, ow, and then ow, she kept ow, going, ow. it looked like. Yeah. Wow. Ugh. True performer. Painful, dude. Oh, pink. Also, this is fucking wild. Yeah, this is weird as hell. <laughs> mm-hmm. So this happened in London, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. At British Summertime Festival. Mm -hmm. And Pink was performing in mid-song. Someone threw their mother's ashes on stage. Yep. Let's see the clip. We'll probably have to mute this one as well. I'm guessing she was probably performing one of her songs. I think this is right after it happens. And she's like, what the fuck? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, she goes to, someone threw this bag on stage yeah. and she goes to check out what it is. So she's confused about what this is. And then the person says, that's my mom. This person apparently said their parent, like their mom didn't get out much. So they <laughs> so wanted to, brought yeah, she wanted to experience it. the show. She's a fan of pink, maybe. She just keeps singing. She just kept going. Yeah. yeah. But then later on, you can see her go and like wipe her hand on something. I'm sure. She's like, what the fuck? Yeah. So um, people are out of control. Also, Lil Nas oh, yeah. X. Mm -hmm. He was just performing at Lollapalooza <laughs> and someone threw a flashlight at him. A <laughs> flashlight. My God. He's like, what the hell is this pussy doing out here? <laughs> And then he like keeps twerking. He's like, whatever. People are out of control, It's crazy. Man. It's going to get to the point shit. where they have to like take everything from you. You can't bring even your phone in, which a lot of concerts don't allow you to even bring your phone in now, right? What? Yeah, my dad went to, um, what show is it? Uh, Jack White. And they took all their phones. What? Isn't that crazy? No. Yeah, I swear. Josh was with him. They had to, I couldn't where? text him all night. He said, they're going to take our phones. I don't remember where that was. It was, I was pregnant at the time. So I remember being very anxious that I couldn't contact him. Um, but yeah, it, it's like he was doesn't want Red people Rocks? to film his shows. I think it was at Red Rocks. I don't think it was Red Rocks. Jack I remember White is it was requiring inside, like, fans Bank to Center. keep their phones in locked pouches during yeah. his concert. Yeah. Okay, I've never heard of that. I think that's mm -hmm. not normal. Will more artists do that? I don't know. No projectiles. See, I think it's dumb to do that because people who are filming you and then putting it up, that's like free promotion for you. Yeah. So. Well, I think it's more... As far as I understood it, he's doing it because he wants people to experience it and he doesn't want them to like live through See, their phones I don't or whatever. I don't agree know. with that. I think if you pay for the ticket, you have the right to film as much of, or as little of a but concert as you, you want. But do you have the right to whip your phone at the artist? <laughs> yes, of course you do. <laughs> if people no. can't control themselves, this is where we're heading. It's annoying. You're not going to be able to bring your flashlight, no phone, <laughs> and definitely no ashes. Damn it. No projectiles. They're ruining it for everyone. Nothing but you and your body. But then at that point, people are going to like... Throw themselves on screen. Take I'll, their pants I'll, off and throw throw whatever. Right. But, yeah. yeah. A shoe. People... It's kind of crazy how often this has been happening, though. Yeah. Nothing new, Speaking of, course, of but... concerts, though. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. <sighs> this is our last update of the day. Last CSI. Travis Scott. <sighs> the whole... Okay. If you don't remember this... How could you not? Everyone Yeah, in November of 20... 21. We have a whole episode on it. We'll yeah, we have the entire... Yeah, we go to into very big detail. But um, basically what ended up... Because they've been going to trial for a long time. And on Thursday, mm -hmm. June 29th, Texas grand jury said no criminal charges would be filed against Travis Scott and a few other organizers um, from the 2021 Astro World Music Festival in Houston, where 10 people were sadly killed. 
Which I am most shocked that Live Nation and other organizers are getting off with nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's insane. It was a 19th month, 19 month investigation and a grand jury found that there was just not enough evidence to support criminal charges against Travis or several other organizers. Travis may be in the clear for criminal charges, but he is still facing civil litigations. Mm. Um, thousands of victims have yeah. filed, you know, more than 400 lawsuits against mm-hmm. him and Live Nation and other organizations claiming that they were negligent in how they planned and conducted the event and well, failed to provide adequate security and emergency Hopefully support. at least one of those will pan out. I mean, God, how can there be no accountability for this? Mm-hmm. Fucking tragedy. It was so scary. They just kept saying that the main factor in the deaths was overpopulation and that a specific section of the festival, which if you remember, there was like different portion, different sections and it was just right. like this one corner or one corner quadrant kind of mm-hmm. um is where it all happened and they were saying that it was in that specific section overpopulation and but that's your fault like, yeah and that it, it's their fault for not ending the show as yeah. soon as they heard what was going on yeah not even negligence mm-hmm. yeah. nothing nothing it's so disappointing <sighs> his lawyer says today's decision by the harris county district attorney confirms what we know have known all along that Travis is not responsible for the Astro World tragedy. This is consistent with investigative reporting by numerous media outlets and federal and state government reports that have squar- squarely, ooh, another word, big word, squarely placed the onus. Squarely. Squarely? <laughs> squarely. <laughs> That's squarely. <laughs> That's squarely. I don't know. I don't even see the word I'm looking squarely. for. Squarely. Uh, yeah. Squarly, I like that better. Squarly placed the squirly. onus. Onus? Honest? <laughs> wow, this show's a shit show, man. Anyways, um, yeah, basically that it was the organizers, operators, contractors, not performers. While waiting patiently for the district attorney's decision to not file charges, Travis has been inaccurately and wrongfully singled out, and despite stopping this th- show three separate times and being unaware of the events as they were f- unfolding. Now that this chapter is closed, we hope for the government's efforts to focus on what is most important, stopping future heartbreaking tragedies like Astral World from ever occurring again. God. Terrible. So it fucking is. sad. It is. So sad. I'd be so pissed um, if I were those families who lost their yeah. children, their loved ones. I know. In such a horrific way. Ugh. Trampled to death. Dude, those suffocated. videos. Remember those videos? Yeah, the videos are horrendous. Again, oh, we have a full episode on it. I'm sure most of you guys, though are very familiar with the situation. It was huge. Anyway, we do want to end on a fun note today because we've been over a lot of heavy shit today. You still want to do this? Yeah. I want to do a little little game. All right, let's do a fucking game. Let's do a little game before I head home. Game time, bitches. I love this game, okay? I requested this because I had so much fun last time. Um, As you guys know, Janella and I are clueless about a lot. (laughs) Especially especially vocabulary. (laughs) Square, squirrely. Janelle is very clueless when it comes to celebrities. True that. And people think she's playing it up. I can I vouch for her. I swear to she's you. She's not. I ain't playing it up. She has no idea what's going I'm on. I'm going to try really hard this round, though. <laughs> and I Last have, round went really bad for me. <laughs> yeah, it did. It was not good. It went... Uh, oh, yeah. I won, though, right? I think I did, did cars. Win. I think I ended up winning. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to be guessing cars. Because I don't know shit about cars. Shit was... And you guys thought this was so funny. I thought it was funny, too. Let's play. All right. And no. name that face and name, name that, that vehicle. Face. Start with name that face. You want to go first? Sure. Okay, run, run our so game. So name that face for one point plus additional one point if you can name a movie they are in. Oh, what nice if I can twist. only? What if I can only name the movie? No points. Damn it. Oh. Okay. Uh, will you help me keep score? You yeah. Keep score? Okay. Yeah. Number one. Is she in the Hunger Games? No. <laughs> no. I don't know who this is. Really? I have no fight. Nope. No idea. No guesses? No. It's, God, this is so bad. Starting off so lame. I thought I could get... She's not in the Hunger Games, really? Is Lower she in Black, up. Maybe is she she in Black Swan? Maybe. I've never seen Black Swan, but she looks familiar. Oh! See, fuck. What's her name? It's something really pretty and unique. You are right. Scarlett with- Johansson? No. You are right with Black Swan. I am yeah. right... And I yeah. don't get a, I don't even get a point for Black Swan. Okay, you can get Come a half on. point. Half point if you can guess the movie. But <laughs> I think you can get her name. She's also in that movie with Ashton Kutcher. Right? Yeah. I don't know. Yep. What? They were like, she was in her. Friends with no strings or something? Mm-hmm. Friends with no strings. <laughs> friends with no strings. <laughs> These called friends with benefits. There's, There's no, no strings, strings attached. attached. Like oh, no strings them, right? attached. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. I don't fucking know. Yeah. 
God damn it. All right. So you get 0.5 damn points. Damn it. This is so lame. Who is it? Natalie Portman. That, that's who I knew that. <laughs> if you had given me multiple choice, I would have gotten that right. So she has half a point for Black Swan. Natalie she, Portman. That's pretty good. Black Swan. All right. Come on. I believe <gasps> oh, in you. you I know get who this, this is. This is someone Cooper. What's his? He's in the hangover. I know this guy. Yeah. You know him. Fuck. I'm getting stage fright. <laughs> no. What's, what's his, his name? Um, he was in the Gaga movie. Uh, oh, Bradley oh, Cooper. You. There you go. Woo. Nice. You get two points because you named two a movie. Points. Oh, I have to say, he is one of the sexiest guys he in is Hollywood. So hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at those eyes. Oh, Sexy damn. motherfucker. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, never seen this guy in my life. Really? <laughs> no. I actually don't remember his name, dude. I have never. I know seen who this guy he is. I can life. name like a bunch he's in, but no idea. Oh yes, I do. I know his name, of course. Can Thanks. I give her? a Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know who it is. All Should right. I tell her? Do you think she'd get it if I said who his wife was? Probably not. You can try. Okay. His, he's married to Amy Poehler. I don't even know who that is. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, I do. She's blonde. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah, I have no idea. Who is it? Will Arnett. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is literally not a celebrity. He is such <laughs> a Will funny Arnett. Fuck. I have never heard of that have name. Have Hot Rod? He's in Hot Rod. He's so funny. <laughs> babe. Babe. I love him. Oh, I know this guy. This is motherfucking Tim Allen. That's right. Not a great picture Allen, of Timmy. The Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. He was in the Santa Claus. Wow. All right. Two points Tim for Allen. that. Good okay. job. Kendall's Good dog job. looks like Tim Allen. Yeah, it's true. That's the running joke. Sadie mm-hmm. is Tim Allen. Sadie is. Doesn't look much like him now that she's got her little haircut. All right. Janelle, who's this? <sighs> oh, one of my favorite actresses. Oh, come on. You don't know her? Bro. <laughs> Bro. She's in so much. She's been an actress. Does she have she a TV show? Born. She does. She does. That, mm-hmm. We watch or we've seen know, clips I've of it. I've never seen it, but we've seen clips of it. Yeah. yeah. She has a talk show. She's big on social. She's Drew Barrymore. That's right. Good job. Oh, yeah, Nailed I'm, it. I have no idea what she's in, though. I don't think Come I've ever on. seen it. You name, name, name like one thing. Name anything. She's been acting since she was like two years old. I've seen she's in one of the most famous movies ever made. Yes. I <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Forrest Gump? No, she's not in Forrest Gump. Have you seen E.T.? Yeah, and it freaked me the she fuck out. She was the out. kid in E.T. Oh, really? That was like her first big thing. Yeah. 50 First Dates. I hate that movie. Hate what? That, that movie you gave me like anxiety for I know, but I hate She's in that The Wedding movie. Singer too. That movie gave yep. me anxiety forever. 50 she's first also dates. in that other that Adam movie. Sandler movie. I just watched it. It's like they're like both divorced. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love Adam. Anyways, moving on. Yes, this Adam's guy. Oh! Um... This guy is from. Mm. This guy is from oh, Jump goodness. Street. Is he? I don't 20, know if he is. 22 Jump Street. 21 Jump Street. Mm-hmm. There's also 22 Jump Street. Oh, that's where oh, he's that's in. the sequel. He's in the one with the drugs where he, he's the guy that's like selling oh, people is drugs. He? Yeah. Okay. Correct. See, I know him from Neighbors mostly. Yes, I agree. He was one of the frat boys. He was like besties oh, with yeah. Zach. Um, fuck. I don't know his name, though. I don't know his name either. He's he, hot, has a, he has a brother who's yeah. also very uh, controversial. Oh, I was going to say, I thought this guy was canceled. No, oh, that's his brother. He's the brother? Mm-hmm. Really? Oh, yeah, of course he is. He's the yeah. cool brother. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's no, a, this guy's the cool brother. He's a, can I just say it? He's a, he's a little Franco. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is, this guy's name is Little Franco. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, I don't even remember. It's been so long. That guy's been canceled for so long. What was his name? Dave, Is it like Polar Frank. Express? No. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> yeah, he was like really bad. It was like heartbreaking. <laughs> oh, James, James Franco. James this Franco. Is James but they Franco, call him right? Little no, Franco. This is this uh, one. This one is uh is this uh, his brother? Yeah. Wait, this guy is the brother good? Dave Franco. Dave. This Hopefully Dave. Dave's good. Dave Wait, is fine from what I understand. God damn. Frank Franco. Big Franco really <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucked up. Wait, James Franco, I liked him in the Why Him oh, movie. I liked him. Oh, he could, I loved James Franco. He's a good like actor. in Pineapple Express. I loved Why Him. Yeah, that was the funniest fucking movie. It was movie. so funny. He's canceled down now, right? Like major. He is Why? fucking bad. Really? Yes, look into it. I we don't, don't have, have time for it today. Okay, got it. Anyway, who else? Oh, this chick is from The Hunger Games. Correct. Good job. And her name is she, she was just I on Hot her. Ones. I love, love her. Her name is fuck. I was literally listening to her a name podcast. Is Katniss Everdeen. I was, I was listening to the Giggly Squad, and they were talking about her. I'm pretty fuck. What's her name? 
oh my god oh my god oh my god this is so mm-hmm. annoying to know mm-hmm. <laughs> what god, is use your name? brain for once her name is can you give me like a letter can you give me um yeah oh fuck i know her name J. she has an f and jennifer her. lawrence there you go all you need was an f <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence, good job. That was Thank pretty you. good. All right, all right. I never saw the Hunger Games. I kind of did. I saw. I made Hunger you Games go. three once. As yeah, a, you on were a sisterhood. very confused. On the sisterhood, I was like, "It's okay, Janelle, take a nap. You're not going to get it. I don't <laughs> I have time to explain this to you." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. This is Amy Poehler. I know her, and she was on SNL. That's yeah, but that's it. That's yeah. passing. I don't know anything else. Have you seen Baby Girls? Mama? You should see Baby Mama. Baby it's Mama. really oh fucking my, funny yeah. Yeah. with Tina Fey. Oh my god, one of my favorite movies. It's so funny. She's in Mean Girls. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's, she's a mean mom. Girls. Let's mean go girls. forward. Who is this? She's like my favorite. I don't remember her name either, but we just talked about her last it's a, week. It's a weird name. Yes. I, I don't she's know in. Oh, she's in one of like a really good movie that you do like. Yeah. The Grinch. No. <laughs> the Holiday. Seth Rogen's with it with her. Oh, and the other one. But the other. Mo- the Yeah. Isn't you've seen he, both of those. Yeah. He's in the movie, too. But I'm also thinking of. She's in. Can I just say the movie? You're not going to get. Mm-hmm. She's in Bridesmaids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she is. She plays Helen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how, that's Helen. That's Helen. Got it. <laughs> and she, she's in Neighbors too. She's the wife of Seth Rogen. Okay, that's what I was about to say. I was going to say Neighbors. She's really funny. I don't know her name. Don't know her name. What's her name? Rose Byrne. Rose Byrne. Yeah. Fucking love that's her. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so weird. This that bitch is, is weird. trending. <laughs> that is still her. <laughs> It freaked me out when yeah. you said that. We saw that Ben Stiller was trending. Yeah, he's and we trending were on Twitter right now. I don't know why. Well, we thought he, something bad happened. Maybe, or maybe he's canceled. I could, not that I could see. Ben Stiller. He was in Meet the Parents, Meet the Fockers. Mm-hmm. And Along that's came Polly. Doesn't look like he's trending for anything bad. Looks like people are just talking about him because he's an icon. Okay. I could, be wrong. Icon. I could I hate, be wrong. I hate when I see people that are like trending because I'm like, did they I know, die? I know. Are they I know. dead? It scares me. But then me. normally you'll see the RIP, right? No. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. The anyway, the that was pretty good. What's Janelle's score? So two. Did you get the movie he was in? Yeah, you mentioned. Okay, good. Yes, very I good. got two movies. You did good today. Thank you. Yeah, this was a very right. good round for this you. This was way better than yesterday. Was or Ben last Stiller? Time. Was Ben Stiller? <laughs> um, <laughs> My brain is fried. <laughs> Not at the museum. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. I love that movie. Those are pretty good movies. That was a great movie. I watched that movie a I'd lot. I'd say Meet the up. Parents. Those his iconics. Meet the Parents is such a fucking good I movie. I think Along Came Polly was... Oh, Along Came Polly. That's like one so of my funny. favorite... You would like Along yeah, Came Polly. It's love, very really? like... Mm, oh it's my a Janelle movie God, for sure. It's so funny. funny. <laughs> it's like easy to watch. Frank Franco on the forget over that. My Frank friend. Franco? <laughs> okay, hit me with the cars because I got to get home. My <laughs> nanny needs to go home. Okay. Uh, just saying... So basically, it's like out of 20 points since you can get two points for each and there's 10. Okay. I'm so going to bomb this. Janelle got 9.5 oh, out of 20. Oh, fucked. Yes, no, I'm gonna, gonna win, win this one. Woo, woo. Okay, okay. Car number one. Actually, that is a Cadillac Escalade. Is that wow. what it's called? Yeah, yeah. That's it. Can you guess the year? Absolutely not. <laughs> Do I get a point for the year? There's no way I'm guessing no. year. No. You don't get a point. It's just more of all right. Two points for that. Yeah, nice. Okay, it's- that is a uh, the second one. Wow, I'm shocked. You know That's that. a. You know what? It's a Jeep of some sort. Mm. No, I didn't say anything. Okay, but wait, the front looks like it said Ford at one point. Someone blur it, blur it off. <laughs> uh, blur it off. So it's not a Jeep. I'm guessing. I don't know. Wait, it where do be? you see oh. the name? No, it's not an Xterra. I drove an Xterra. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That is a Jeep four by four. Incorrect. It is a Ford. Bronco. So I was right. You guys blurred the Ford off. I can tell you. It it won't say Ford. It says Bronco on the front. Oh, Oh, I don't know why. They just brought them back recently. They were like a really old car. That's the OJ car. That is the OJ car. Yeah, they hadn't made them make them. Wait, they haven't made made them. Made new ones. They haven't made them for a long time and they just uh, came out with them again. Guys, if I have to get get a new car, I think I'm going to go for a Bronx. Do it. Really? They're freaking good. expensive. They're real expensive. You know what? Okay. They're like a fuck ton of money. Live, okay. Let me try this next one. Live, laugh, love. Yep. This Got is, it. this looks like Josh's last truck <laughs> that he decided was too big okay. and traded in. Okay. It looks like a GMC. <laughs> JMC. Whatever the hell Josh's truck was. I don't remember what it's called. 
It is not. I'll give you one more hint. You okay. see it almost every single day. The Ford Raptor. It is not. That's Somebody else's thing. car every, every single day. day. <laughs> Someone here at the office has this car. Someone in our office drives this. Mm -hmm. I don't even know who drives the truck. I don't pay attention what anyone drives. I have no idea what people are driving. You don't know what car... Uh, you couldn't go out right now in the parking lot and be like, That'd this be a is fun this, game. this, is this. That would no. be such a fun game. What? We, we can't expose that. people's cars. That's true. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. Okay. Toyota Tacoma. Oh, Tom's car. Nope. nope. Tom drives <laughs> no. a Hyundai <laughs> launch truck. <Sin> <laughs> oh, right. Okay. <laughs> what happens to not exposing people's cars? Oh. But we're not exposing well, their color yeah. and their yeah. license plate and their year and everything. Um, But no, it looks nothing like that. That's mm. Darren's car. Oh. That looks like a Darren car. Yeah. It's Very like nice. Same exact color. I like that color. Really like that color. It's a what? What did you say? It's a Tacoma? Mm -hmm. Never even heard Toyota. of that. Toyota. Never even heard of that. Okay. Okay. Next up, that is a... That is a PT Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. No, that's a Mini Cooper. Uh... A Volkswagen Mini the Cooper. <laughs> no? You got part of it right. It's a Volkswagen. Mm. Volkswagen. <laughs> it's a Mini Cooper. Who makes those fucking things? Who makes a Mini Cooper? BMW Mini Cooper? No. A, uh... A, uh... I don't know. A Cadillac Mini Cooper. Oh, wait. Wait, it I think you are you right, right. <laughs> Oh, it's BMW? Well, no. Well, kind of. Not BMW, really. Mini Cooper's its own thing, right? Mm hmm Yeah. But you would, I don't think you can go to a B BMW dealership and get a Mini Cooper. You can. You can? Yes, but it, it, Mini Coopers are their own. I, I, so I, I always wanted a Mini Cooper. So I for that. That's a BMW Mini Cooper. Well, but it's not called, <laughs> but it's not called a BMW Mini Cooper. It's just well, called a I Mini Cooper. Well, I get extra Cooper. points for going above and beyond <laughs> then. So it'd be like, it'd be like, it'd be like, you Toyota and um, uh, Lexus, I think. What? Yeah. Yes, Toyota is owned by Lexus. Or Lexus oh, is owned by Toyota. Oh, so BMW. It's like a luxury brand. I see. So PT like, Cruiser. Or I mean, Mini Acura Cooper is its own brand. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. under BMW. So what model? So I don't have the model then. So that's a... I don't know what model it is, TBH. I'm not really That's familiar. a little ladybug Mini Cooper. <laughs> that's right, baby. Well, there's like... You'll get two because you got... That, yeah. Okay. All right. Last one. This is a. No, we got two more. Oh, no sorry. idea. No oh, come idea. on. This is one of the most like basic ass cars. Yeah. Like if I'm. Cr it's okay. Last you a long time. Basic mm -hmm. ass cars. Toyota Camry. Is it? Or no. is it? Yeah, I didn't think so. It's but that's not? a really good it's guess. It's a very good guess. It's like that, but not. Diff okay. That is like a high school car. Not all, but I'm just saying like this. this like a lot of people are yeah. like a good like. Hyundai Elantra. Oh. Nope. Elantra. <laughs> what? All out of options. What is a brand that lasts for fucking ever? Not Toyota, the other one. There's like two that are known that this bitch will run uh, till the world ends. It's a good mm, hand-me-down car. Outback. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <what>? Outback <laughs> Steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, who makes the Outbacks? Subaru. It's a um, Subaru it's, Forester. No. Subaru's. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're like naming cars from like commercials. <laughs> that is. Come a, on. It's not a Subaru? No. no. Come on. And it's not a Hyundai and it's not a Toyota. Correct. It's, it's a, a one Nissan of, Altima. No. <laughs> the other one. It is one of the most popular car brands. In that the is world. world. That is not Nissan. It is it is not American made. Not Toyota. It's I think the other Japanese. Japanese. It's yeah, like the Japanese. Other, a Nissan. Nope. It starts with an H. A Hyundai. Nope. <laughs> the other one. I don't that know. It sounds like Hyundai. Yeah. A I don't <laughs> Honda. A Honda. Honda. Honda Civic. Yes. A Honda Civic. Okay. Does that's she a get Japanese that? brand? Hmm, yeah. Didn't know that. No, I don't, I don't get that. Just, no, my sister had this car and named her Ronda Honda. 
Ronda, great cars. Honda. Great okay, fucking cars. Okay, this is a a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Wow. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> well, Wait, we've got like well, three more. I mean, well, technically, oh, sorry, I, yeah, I don't more? know why I thought that was last one. Yeah. I'm okay. like a fucking liar. Good All job. Right. That was good. It was okay. a Cherokee. Yeah. This one is a... um. Is it a Grand Cherokee or just a Cherokee? This one's just a Cherokee. But you still get it. They look the same. This is a Tahoe. Oh. Wow. Uh, yeah, it is. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is a... Because it could also be... Tahoes? <laughs> Toyota Tahoe? Nope. No. A Ford Tahoe? Nope. A Hyundai Tahoe? <laughs> <laughs> nope. A Honda Tahoe? A Honda Tahoe? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of options. GMC ta- Honda. <laughs> a GMC Tahoe. A other American. BMW Tahoe. A Incorrect. Ford Tahoe. Incorrect. A a <laughs> Chevrolet Tahoe. <laughs> A Chevrolet Tahoe. I never would have guessed that they made those. I have no idea. It also looks like a uh, Suburban. GMC Yukon Denali. They yeah. look like the exact same. My parents had one of those. Remember I learned to drive in one of those. Fuckers. I wanted one of those mm. so bad. A Yukon? Mm-hmm. Dude, I drove the X. That's the car I learned to drive in was a extra long Yukon Denali. Damn. It was fucking enormous. This thing was I like would a have crashed bus. that thing. I loved those cars. I wanted one so bad. If we have more kids, I might have to get an extra long <laughs> something or a minivan. I'm voting for Astro Van. Yeah. Do they even make those anymore? I just don't see you driving an Astro. I know. I shouldn't drive anything that big. Scary. Is the Astro van the, the bullet looking one? Um, yeah. Yeah. Josh used to drive one of those when we were in high school. Cute. <laughs> yeah, it was very hot. Um, okay. Yeah, this, final one. You got this. A Subaru Forester. A. This is what John's like dream car at the moment. Oh, this is a Nissan XG5. <laughs> No, 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 this is not John's car. This is a car that John really wants. Oh, this is a, but um, he doesn't drive any a anyways. Toyota 4Runner. No, uh, <laughs> good guess. Good guess because he used to yeah. want one of those, but no. And they look alike, kind of. They do. They are owned by Toyota, but they are not Toyota. Come on. We just we Nissan. Just, nope. We just talked Luxury. about this. Nissan and Lexus. Infinity are to get. Mm-hmm. Yes. A Lexus. Oh, I think my mom drives a really old one of these. I don't know the name though. Alexis G7X. You're really Alexis like, like a G6. 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 No. no, I I give it to you because I would not know GX. Oh, GX. just the GX. Okay, yeah. Alexis GX. What does G stand for? I feel like so many cars. Grande. Have G. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not that. I have no idea. Okay. Good well, job. Is that what's it? our total here? Okay. That was honestly one pretty two pretty impressive. Minus the Honda part, that was a little hurtful. <sighs> Do you know what kind of car I drive? Yes. A um, used to be a an car? Acura. Huh? MDX. Do you know what car I drive? A forerunner. <laughs> Do you by chance know mine? No fucking way. Yep. Your car is crunched. Well, my car is a, yeah, my car's a little sandwich right now. Poor oh. Corelli got rear ended. Yeah. 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 Not fun. Not good. Not fun. Not, not fun. Good. But what but was it? What was she before? Well, I mean, she still, she still is. She's, she's still kicking. She's still kicking. She's. You're gonna get her fixed up, right? Yeah, I'm waiting for insurance to to get their butts together. Um, mm-hmm. she was Ugh. a Hyundai Kona. 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 Mm-hmm. I've never heard of that. That's yeah. Cute. Never Kona. cute. They're like little. It's like a little um Hyundai like Kona. crossover. A little crossover. Oh. Yeah. Very nice. All right. So you got eight out of twenty. Oh, Janelle beat me by one. What did I get? Nine point five. Ah. Uh, Congratulations, Damn, cause you really did good. Did good this um, round, though. Not not terrible. We're learning. That's a fail for both of us, but that's okay. We'll take it. Fifty percent. Hey, you each. know what? I will take. Oh, God, I can't believe I still did that bad. It's sad. <sighs> I love that game. Me too. We can play it a million times. We need to find other things that we're clueless at. Yeah, there's a lot. Let us know. But the thing is, is like, there's a fuck ton of cars and there's a fuck ton of celebs. So that can't it's run out. Endless. This is guess the car, guess the person. And yes, we can pr- honestly, dude, you know what's so sad about this whole thing is that they could probably start repeating people we've ar- and repeating cars and yeah. we would still be like, <laughs> with no know. idea. No idea. Yeah. I don't remember any of the ones from last time. I was going to say, do you feel a little smarter? Mm-hmm. No. No, I feel dumber. I, I think. feel dumber too. Yeah. Yeah. It's putting me in. Mm-hmm. I can't believe I forgot Scarlett Johan. Or wait. <laughs> No, what was she? <laughs> she wasn't even on there. She wasn't no, even no, going. No, 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 no
Natalie no, no, Portman. Love Swan. Natalie, Natalie Portland. I think they're the same person. Port- I Portland. <laughs> Portland. <laughs> Portland. Oh. <laughs> Portland. Portland, Oregon. <laughs> okay, guys, that's going to be it for us today. <laughs> Always fun hanging out with y'all. Uh, we'll see you on the next sesh, but until then... Keep it fresh. Get that. Or you're going to smell bad. Okay. Okay. <laughs>